this NFL DFS week 14 and coach of the year edition of the sports gambling podcast is presented by win bet. Win bet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, and Arizona for boosted parlays the in game odds on every major sport. Win bet has what you need to win. Sign up today to receive a $1,000 risk free sports bet. Download the win bet app now or visit WYNNbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by prize picks. Prize picks is DFS simplified. All you have to do is pick your favorite player over and unders to cash in. Head over to prizepicks.com and use promo code SGP for a 100% instant deposit match. We're also brought to you by Better Fantasy. Better Fantasy is a new free to play app that lets you sync your fantasy football league and bet on the head to head matchups. Download the app today or just head to betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. That's betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by SoBet. Sign up to bet against your friends and join the social betting revolution at sobet.io slash SGPN. That's sobet.io slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Check out the new PropSwap.com and use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app, your home for all of our free picks and podcasts. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Sean, is it tomorrow? What's happened? We're recording again. Yes. This is back amazing. to back. We're- double headers putting in the work. Is there a player safety issue here? Yeah. Is I'm- that why we sent Colby home for this episode? <laughs> OSHA, we gotta, we gotta OSHA talk compliance. to our union. <laughs> the podcaster union. See if uh, see if we're able to do back to backs. Yes, uh, Kramer and I will be traveling, so uh, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do the pregame show uh, on Sunday uh, coming up this weekend. Also, wanted to get the college basketball uh, picks episode out early. Obviously, we will be uh, dropping the NFL picks pod uh, tomorrow, but uh, today we got DFS. Oh man! And I I did a chef's kiss after I finished my lineup. Right, Mwah. that's how great I felt about my DFS picks. We've been coming close. We've been getting some, you know, like the, the lineup I gave out was pretty. Uh, get like four out of the eight to million, and I I did have a uh, the the one I tossed in the bonus uh, Gardner Minshew Dallas Goddard stack. That thing was pretty good. Ah, uh, jeez, didn't obviously didn't win a million dollars. That's why we're still here, trying to figure it, it out, trying to bring home that milli. I feel as they say, trust the process. Felt right? like good process. Don't judge I mean, yourself on the on the on the output on the on the judge yourself on the process. Feel good, right? Like feel like we've been hitting some of the game stacks correctly. Yeah, game stacks, giving out some people some uh, you know, little dark horse DFS stuff. Uh, yeah, obviously to put, you know, look I'll, cobble I'll, it all together. Look out, here we come. I'll say this, and shout out to to Link uh, Calhoun on Twitter because he motivated to me, me today. Yes, actually, it was two days ago. He after winning the big boy, which somehow I fucked up and didn't get in again. How did you not get in again? uh, I was sitting there when Decker said, uh, "Are you in?" And I and I went in, and somehow I didn't get it. Who knows? A lot of ins, a lot of outs. Wouldn't have won. Not complaining. Mm. But he sent me the overall like lifetime earnings in the SGP (laughs) DraftKings group. Oh wow! To which uh, guess who's sitting in first place? Yours truly, but he's he's starting to g- catch up with all these big oh, boy wins. Yeah, so look out. Uh, he got me motivated. He got me back to the process that got me here, inside out, starting with the tight end, Sean. That's how I used to build, handcraft my lineups. That's <laughs> where I lineups. went this week, Sean. Very. Well, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be uh, out in Hawaii visiting oh. the uh, co-host of the Die Hard Eagles podcast out in Hawaii. So I gotta lock my, uh, make sure my lineup is good before oh, I head off the mainland because 
Well, that's yeah. a good question. Hawaii is not DFS compliant because I'm going to the Rhode Island of the East, aka Rhode. Or sorry, the Hawaii of the East, aka Rhode Island. <laughs> We're and both going to <laughs> islands, two very different <laughs> islands, Hawaii and Rhode Island. Yeah, the, the Rhode Island is a, is a slightly different vibe than uh, island time. Is Rhode Island DFS safe? Do, do we know? Never do not even, know that. Never even had that kind of an intimate I, conversation never, with cousin Mush. So, so. I've driven through Rhode Island, Ryan. That is all. As far as how much I've uh, experienced, the shout great out to Crime Town, awesome podcast. If you haven't listened, yeah, great podcast. Uh, I know we don't like to tout other podcasts. No, that's all right. You know, we can we can get, throw out some free plugs. <laughs> a lot of crossover every once demographic. in a while. <laughs> Speaking of plugs, oh man, if you haven't head over to TickPick.com slash SGP, I don't know what you're waiting for. The destination for game tickets, guaranteeing you the best prices on all of the college football tickets. Bowl season is upon us. You got to head over to tickpick.com slash SGP. Uh, maybe we're going to get our shit together and head out to the Rose bowl. That should be. And I like your angle, Ryan. I was reading uh, some local Ohio state person was saying, trust me, everyone in Ohio uh, knows the season's over, including Ryan day. Awesome get up spot for the Utah Utes. We'll be picking that game, I'm sure, when we talk uh, bowl season. But uh, awesome time to catch some college football live in person. TickPick.com slash SGP. And uh, the best part is no fee. That's right. For college football, NFL, NBA, no fee. TickPick.com slash SGP. And if you find a better price, TickPick will give you 110%. Of the difference in the purchase price. So shout out to TickPick.com. Oh man, so much to uh so much action to get to. Get to the coach of the year. We have our real men of D Gens this week, Ryan. Why don't we get to that? Because this one is a uh, fun one. Oh. Real men of D Gens presented by PropSwap.com, promo code SGP. SGPN presents Real Men of DGENS. Real Men of DGENS. We salute you. Josh Jacobs. <laughs> That's right. Uh, on the field, Jacobs can fit, can hit any hole with the best in the league. Off the field, he is allegedly hitting too many holes that have resulted in a lot of children by a ton of different women. This is a report coming to you from Wags Unfiltered. The star running back has eight children by eight different women, with one more on the way. I tried to do some research to see if the one on the way was tied at all to the eight previous one. I could not figure that out, but salute to you, Josh Jacobs, a, a real man of DJ. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. I mean, walking in the footsteps of his hero Antonio Cromartie <laughs> after that performance on Hard Knocks for the oh, Jets. That was great. Uh, forgot how many kids he had. Uh, well, they did, he didn't forget. They just asked him to. He name, forgot the order. He for, they asked him to name all his kids, and he he struggled a little bit. I mean, you can remember a phone number. That's nine uh, digits. In defense, you know. though, I think if you ask my dad, who's a father of three, if you put him on the spot and asked him to name all three kids, might might have a similar uh, struggle. There might be. Oh, and to go in order and know how old they are. Nervous pause. It's a it's a heavy lift. Nine for, kids. I mean, this is literally the plot to Idiocracy. I think that's a lot of kids. But uh, you know, shout out to Josh Jacobs. He's going to be in the league for a long time. Uh, he's got to get that uh, pension. So he doesn't. Uh, so he can just keep 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 uh, keep track of all those kids. All maybe, right. Maybe he wants to do a podcast, Sean. Oh yeah, Josh, <laughs> looking to looking to get some extra cash. Hit us up, Sports Gambling Podcast. Always looking for more content creators. We've been uh, breaking down some different futures. This has been like a fun bonus segment before we get to our DFS lineups. This one thought it would be fun to uh, get to NFL Coach of the Year. Obviously, Belichick has been getting a ton of attraction here. You know, Coach of the Year. It is, uh, you know, it's like all these. It's a narrative award. Now, usually, Belichick doesn't get it because he's just kind of missed the boat, and you know, he had Brady for all those years. But now, you know, what they're gonna, right now, they're the number one seed in the AFC with a rookie quarterback. Like the the time to give it to uh, <laughs> to. 
Uh, Bill Belichick is unfortunately prime. I mean, I'm seeing. I don't know what your numbers are showing, Ryan, but I'm seeing Bill Belichick plus one twenty five right now for NFL Coach of the Year. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's the clear favorite. I think that he, it's the combination of everything, right? He yeah. already was the greatest. Uh, he just did, you can't give it to the same guy every year. Tom Brady's gone. Like there, there's so many reasons why he's gonna win it. But I, it's I, a baby fucking wheel, man. I'll say this, Sean. Yeah, it's not like a Belichickian team to be peaking right now. Mm. It's not like a Bel. I mean, not that it's his doing, but feels like we're talking a lot about Belichick. And I think typically Belichick doesn't win in the end because he doesn't want to be talked about. He doesn't want to win a stupid award. He wants to win championships. So uh, I I wonder, could Belichick throw a game or two to get the 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 media off <laughs> get off the scent? Because I don't think he likes the position his team's in right now. Yeah, smell themselves. I don't think this is where Belichick well, wants his squad. If you're sitting on a Bill Belichick Coach of the Year bet, you're feeling uh, great. You're feeling great. You're feeling awesome. You're feeling smarter than the rest of the world. But what if someone's hopping in the Coach of the oh. Year market now? Uh, Cliff Cliff Kingsbury is is seemingly uh. Uh, a big part of his competition there. Plus three fifty. I mean Kingsbury, his narrative is pretty good. I mean they're ten and two. They've had what their last seven wins, or they have seven road wins of like more than seven points, or some crazy stat like that. He's he's two and one without Kyler. I mean, I don't know where this defense came from. And you know, when we talked to Mike Leach uh, years ago about Cliff and his adjustment to the NFL, he's like, well, if he can figure out how to coach defense or how to get defense going, he's going to be set. And and this Arizona Cardinals defense to me is still. One of the bigger surprises in the league, I, I, I mean, I, I think Kingsbury obviously is the next biggest, uh, you know, it, um, rival here for Belichick at plus three fifty. Yeah, I, I, I feel like you know when you look at the history of the award, it's often kind of the shiny new toy, so it fits that model. Real rookie, quick. rookie head coaches are usually pretty good because if they can come in. And turn a four-win team into a ten-win team. It's easy. It, they they certainly have a good narrative there. And again, that was kind of my logic with the Nick Sirianni at fifty to one, who is sure. still hanging strong at fifty to one. And I think for them, for him to get the award, they would probably, I mean, almost certainly now, considering how strong some of the other candidates were, if they go ten and six. And they, or sorry, if they go uh, ten and seven, and somehow pull off the division win, if if the Cowboys somehow fall apart, they win out. Maybe there's a chance there, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not certainly not advising anyone to get down at fifty to one on Nick Sirianni. I'm, I'm just going long shot here. Any of these other longer shots interest you? Well, and real quick, a couple notes about Belichick. Uh, Jason Garrett has won the award more recently than Bill Belichick. Uh, Bill Belichick hasn't won since 2010, so there is like that. It's going to be so hard to overcome Belichick in this season. I think you're going to need to be a team uh, like a Cliff Kingsbury, where yes, you have a quarterback, but the narrative is there, and your team is just flat out dominant. Uh, well, obviously the Packers that like they're in position to do it by like getting the one seed by having a shit ton of wins, but Aaron Rodgers, I almost feel like defeats the floor a little bit in there. Yeah. He does hurt him. Vrabel is the guy to me that I, I circle that makes sense because of all the injuries, because of the odd, like if they're able to, to, to continue winning games and get in the playoffs as, as a one, two, maybe even a three, like I think that Vrabel, if if this team is is finishing with like a solid double digit win, well, yeah, with the amount of injuries that they've taken, why not? I mean, again, you need a you need a narrative to get past a, a good quarterback or just a good season. And I think when a team has been just destroyed with injury, it makes sense. Yeah, so I I think the scenario for Vrabel to hit a ten to one. Kind of similar to my angle of why I was on, uh, you know, Ryan Tannehill at a hundred to one for MVP. I gave that out a couple of weeks ago. Um, they've lost two in a row since, so obviously that really hurts. But you're probably buying low here with the Titans. They're eight and four. They have five games left. If they can win out without Derrick Henry, or even maybe. <laughs> You know, go five and zero oh and get Derrick Henry for those last couple of games. If certainly, they're in the mix. If you're playing the game of like, 
who can who can lock up a coach of the year award with the one seed? Yeah. I think you put the Patriots in that boat and I think you put the Titans in that boat uh in the AFC and I think the there's one more team you put in that boat in the AFC. Obviously Brandon Staley and the Chargers don't think they're going to do it. I think it's the Colts. Really? I, I think the Colts, if the Colts charge hard, it's not going to car. There's no Carson yeah. Wentz noise. Maybe it's Jonathan Taylor, offensive player of the year. Like that's how they settle it. But yeah. I, I do think that there, it's be, we're getting, well, the no, point. that's, that's interesting too. So it feels like Titans and Colts kind of in the similar situation, but the Colts yeah. are six and six. So they almost a hundred percent would, would have, to, have win to win out. Would you be better off just with a mechanical parlay there? Maybe. Then then them going eleven and six. He's, he's only twenty five to one. And to your point, Vrabel at ten to one is probably a better bet there. As I mentioned, Staley, obviously if, if the Chargers get hot and get the one seed, you could see him getting it. People like to talk about his decision making. Uh everyone else though, like even Zach Taylor, who's twelve to one, to me feels like there's something about the coach himself who's like, yeah, you know, that guy's not winning coach of the year. I mean, as <laughs> well, much as I like the his crap North, talk. their their schedule seems pretty tough, and it's, I mean, Bengals would be lucky to win the AFC North. You know, question for you is how the fuck is Kyle Shanahan forty to one? Like what? That how, guy's a genius. How though. disrespect Brian Flores sixty five to one? <laughs> m- much better shot to me. Uh, Sirianni better shot to me to win the award. I mean, even a guy like Sean Payton with the quarterback, Ron Rivera, this team is, I, you want to talk about an absolute dark horse. The Washington football team can win the East. The Washington yeah. football team can secure a, a, a de, you know, not a super high seed, but if they win the East with what's happened with that team, everyone loves Ron Rivera. He's a cancer survivor. Like there's so, so many, yeah, I, I, would to say, one. I would say, what would you rather bet right now? The uh, Washington football team to win the NFC East or Ron Rivera to no, win Coach no, of the Year. I love that bet. Yeah, and we. So talk- if, you're, if you're thinking about betting uh, Washington football team to win the NFC East, I wouldn't do that. But if you think they have this untapped magic, may as well sprinkle a little bit on Ron Rivera uh, to win it all because they play the Eagles twice and the Cowboys twice. So. I mean, you get hot here, and so off the top of my head, because Belichick is still plus odds. Yeah, just thinking out loud here. If, if I were to put, say, a hundred dollars on Belichick, yes, and then maybe ten dollar, uh, twenty dollars on, uh, maybe thirty dollars on Vrabel, and twenty dollars on Rivera, that's a nice little portfolio to hold yeah. there. I don't mind that. Uh, uh, Belichick at plus odds. I, I know we we started by saying maybe not the be- maybe not something you're going to grab. But the more that I've kind of talked through all these other coaches, he's really going to have to fight. I mean, yeah, it, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hopping in right now. I think Kingsbury and at 350. It's not interesting. The only one that really interests me is is Rabel and the Titans, just because I did a brief look at their schedule. And them them running the table. I don't know. Maybe I'm just it, much more of a believer what, in this team. And and you know, so they Titans have Jags at home, at Steelers, 49ers at home, Dolphins at home, and then at Texans. So you can assume they're gonna beat the Jags and Texans. That's the, every game you just said is winnable. And the other ones, <laughs> I think they would be uh I mean they'll they're gonna be favored against the 49ers, I think, at home. Uh maybe that's a pick. Steelers, maybe they're a small dog, uh, and, and then Dolphins, they should be favored. Um, but Br- Brian Flores also kind of an interesting candidate because they have won six in a row. What is what's Brian Flores at right now? Uh, sixty-five to one. Sixty-five to one. I mean, they're what six and seven. They would also have to win out. So I guess you're kind of finding which one of these teams you like to win out the most. Vrabel at ten to one, I think very tiny sprinkle. Other than that, I'm kind of staying away. Colts win out, Dolphins win out. Who gets the award? I think maybe the Dolphins because they were what, were, what was their record? They were like one and six, right? Yeah, something crazy. So or or maybe they were one and seven. So I think the fact that they if they were one and seven and won nine in a row. I don't know. That's kind of a fun storyline, but also you were one in seven, so maybe they hold that against you. And you know, sports books should not be offering Dan Campbell uh, or David Cully coach of the year <laughs> futures at this point. Two hundred to one. Who's betting that? Come on. Well, the Lions have not been eliminated yet, Ryan. Matt Rule, hundred to one. Urban Myers. Why on. would you not take? See, this is what's crazy. When you're playing these futures, why would you not just take a crazy 
first touchdown bet than Dan Campbell, two hundred to one this to win coach of the year. How you know uh, Pete Carroll's washed up? He's in the same bucket as Dan Campbell and David Cully. Wow. Those, those are the Sad three two hundred to one coach of the year coach. Sad times for the Carroll man. All right, let's uh, let's start talking DFS, but more importantly, the National Football League. Looking to get down on some NFL action this week? You know where you gotta bet. The only place to bet, the best place to bet, of course, Win Bet, where you can bet big, win bigger. All you gotta do is download the Win Betting app or head to wynnbet.com. Get that one thousand dollar risk-free sports bet. Or new players, you can bet one dollar to win one hundred dollars. Bet with the best win bet and uh, personal favorite was experiencing some win bet in person, Ryan, in the great state of New Jersey, New York, right around the corner. Stay tuned. More states on the way. Can't announce those yet, but New York is ready to go. As soon as the fl- the switch is flipped, you will be able to get down on win bet. Favorite part of win bet, of course, is that. Sweet, sweet parlay boost. Get down on a parlay, spin the wheel for an added boost. Hashtag Dejans only. Winbet.com. And Kramer, we're talking uh, DFS here. We're going to give you, uh, you know, our whole lineup. But of course, if you want simplified DFS, you can head over to PrizePicks.com. Use our promo code SGP. Get that 100% instant deposit bonus. Very easy. Just taking over under on players. Again, I'm not one to tout, but I did go three and zero for my Monday night bets. Sounds for, like a tout. Uh, the the Mac Jones under 200 and a half <laughs> passing yards was the. The most fun I've had with a bet in a long time because you just start realizing, oh my God, they're never even going to throw the ball. This is amazing. The fact that we get almost we we were sweating that. And, and Nelson Aguilar, he, he almost had a catch for like nine yards of those three attempts. One did go to Aguilar because I also had Aguilar under nineteen and a half yards. But easy the, money. The most important thing is I went three and zero. Oh, I did the three and zero version. That is a plus five hundred return. And got that sweet deposit bonus, prizepicks.com, promo code SGP. Kramer, interesting uh, week here for the DFS. Kick things off f- with your quarterback. All right. So I I desperately tried to do a Mahomes lineup. Mm. It, it's just. I I just routinely did not like the way it was coming. I was I was going Mahomes like top shelf, double stack, Tyree Kill. And uh, Travis Kelsey, but it just it just didn't work out. So I went completely different. So I said, you know what? I'm struggling this week. Let me start with my tight end position. It found me, Sean, to stacking Baker Mayfield. Oh my God! Fifty two hundred. The Baltimore Ravens quote are out of defensive backs. Out of the f- that was a quote from a, a member of the coaching staff in Baltimore. Well, that's what they that's what uh, Harbaugh said when they went for two, and he he said it was because they were out of defensive backs. But you're crazy, Baker Mayfield, Ryan. He's banged up. Obviously, contrarian <laughs> play here. Yeah, very Baltimore contrarian. willing to blitz, weak on the back end. I may I may start Case Keenum before I would start Baker Mayfield. Because <laughs> coming off the bye, last game they played, Sean, against this Ravens team. They've been back to back games against the Ravens. Uh and and what happened the last time this team played, they these teams played? Well, uh we'll get to it in a little bit, but but Jarvis Landry had a pretty good game. So I'm I'm taking a rested Baker. He's been hanging out around the house. He's been sitting in the 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 chamber getting getting healthy. Only fifty two hundred. This lineup's fun. Let's go, Sean. You're you're a bit of a maniac, Ryan. I mean, the only other option this week is Josh Allen. I mean, honestly, I I, I that's it. That's the, that's the only other option, or D- Dak Prescott, but that's not happening. That's not happening. I I chose one of the other options. Give me Josh no. Allen at Tampa Bay, seventy eight hundred dollars, and we'll get into it in our in our stack thing. But I think. There's a way to play Josh Allen a little, a little slightly contrarian. Okay, love him coming off a quiet game statistically. Bills, Bills almost in like a must-win situation coming off the Monday night. Now you're going down to warm weather. 
I, I think Josh Allen is going to come, you know, cut loose and against that secondary. Against that secondary, and we've also seen rushing quarterbacks have good, uh, decent days against the Bucks. So I think Josh Allen in the running game. Uh, could be a big thing here. Oh. Give me Josh Allen, seventy eight hundred dollars. Game's gonna have so. I mean, it, it does seem like this game's gonna have a lot of points. It's a non conference game. How uh, does it not have a lot of points? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't see it, and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be stacking this game. But again, I'm stacking it without Stefan Diggs. I think that's gonna mm. give me a little uh, contrarian uh, lineup here because I'm sure Josh Allen's ownership will be pretty high. All right, running back one. Uh, you know, I don't love. So before we do that, actually, quarterback, uh, I did make. I'm gonna have a Taysom Hill lineup this week. Sorry, <laughs> with Kamara How's probably his finger feeling? bringing it back with uh, Elijah Moore. I, I don't. Know, who gives a shit? He's just gonna run for 80 yards. It's true. That rushing prop being only like 30 or 40 yards was crazy. All right, running back. Don't know. I love the top of this class. The Kamara Saints defense stack is intriguing. Uh, obviously, against the Jets, seems like Kamara is gonna play. A little nervous. Kind of got me off of it. And I, as I worked my way down the board, obviously I'm playing Baker, so I'm not going to go with a Chubb situation here. I, although I I do I do kind of like his matchup here. I'm, I'm playing that game to be through the air. Uh, Fournette, it feels like he's just been going off, going off, and, and he's going to have a dud at some point. So it all of a sudden you're down the board. So uh, I'm going Antonio Gibson six thousand. Okay. Uh, you see the touch. Uh, the touches he's been getting McKissick probably going to maybe miss again with the concussion. He's had a couple of those. So uh, it could take him a little bit longer to get back to the baseline. Uh, Gibson coming off a huge game, right? 23 carries uh, another six targets. Yeah. He seems just a workhorse in that offense. And I, I don't know if you mentioned it, but Logan Thomas, him, him being out, he's out. Uh, I, I think that just ups Gibson as a, uh, well, and, as and a receiver. And, and, yeah. And if you watch Heineke, it's a lot of just like easy, simple stuff over the middle. And I, I think Gibson's target share has to go up with, uh, with uh, Logan Thomas. Although Ricky seals Jones, has done an okay job filling in, but he's he's well, no Logan Thomas. And uh, I'll drop a nugget on you: forty four point four percent share of his team's air yards. That's Terry McLaurin. So wow. it's kind of just uh, Terry McLaurin down the field, and then uh, check downs to the to the it's tight a end and running back. Formula, but uh, the the usage for Gibson has been undeniable. So still only six thousand. I uh, kind of he'll be contrarian. I think this week just that red number next to his name uh, probably helps. I, I like I like the football team to get up in a rivalry spot here, and I think a lot of that uh, comes with them pounding the rock, controlling the clock, and uh, you know rattling Dakota's cage. Like it. All right, this guy coming off a, a quiet game uh, by his standards, but I he's in a smash spot. Give me. Cordero Patterson. <laughs> he had 13 carries, only 78 yards, uh, three catches oh. for five targets against the Bucks, only 12.6, but an insane volume. And they're going up against this Panthers team who their defense has really fallen apart. They 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 just fired Joe Brady, offensive coordinator. Feels like this Panthers team is kind of falling apart. And Atlanta by no means great, but the the volume um, you know, concentration. Patterson is just getting a ton. I know Russell Gage had kind of a, a freaky breakout game, but I think this is just Patterson's. Yeah, I mean, again, you're you're playing a receiver at running back, massive upside in a full point PPR, sixty nine hundred dollars against this Panthers team. I love it. Give me Cordero Patterson. And the likelihood that this game has a little pace because Matt Rule broke the glass, clearly given some sort of uh, edict, because you don't just. You don't go to your college uh, play caller this late into a season because you're being given another season. Like he's showing, he's saying, "Show me you can change now, or you're out at the end of the year." So, and something's going on down there. That's what there. Tepper's and, saying. And maybe they're maybe they're getting up for it. But can, who are they starting to quarterback? Cam Newton, PJ but, Walker. But to your point, Atlanta's gonna, I think, get some turnovers and. Have just, some real easy opportunities to put in points. I just love Patterson. I love. Patterson I mean, I love of, him a lot. You know, yeah, yeah. I love rebound him game. Love Patterson with the red two next to his name there. Uh, love that his price is sixty nine hundred. Sean, nice. All right, running back to when to come. Perhaps this will be chalky. Only fifty nine hundred. Yep. Uh, I'm Mel with you. Melvin Gordon. Lock. Sounds it. like they're gonna. Lock it. Uh, maybe they just want to see this kid out there because. Holy crap, Sean! Uh, the amount of touches this guy uh, got—twenty-three carries, 
six catches on nine targets, a, a 32 point showing price only comes up $400 Williams. from that Javante Williams, uh, 29, yeah, 29 total touches. So again, between uh, Gibson and his 13 targets over the past two weeks and Javante Williams and his nine targets last week, these are guys who are also getting 20 plus carries. Like we're talking about traditional bell cow workloads, escalades, Sean, beep, back beep. It into the garage. Well, uh, for the light price of 6,000, 5,900, yeah. let's smash go. Smash spot for Javante Williams. I mean, normally I don't like to play guys coming off career games, but his career is so small. The spot's so good. They're at home against the lions lions coming off their first win. And now they have a non-conference road game against a Broncos team that desperately needs a win. That's going to probably look to pound the rock. I mean, you saw what the Eagles have done and what other teams have done. If you, if you really run the ball, you can kind of push around this lion's team. Yeah, Teddy's banged up. Like this, the kid looks electric. He's going to win le- leagues this year. I mean, he, he's going to close the season down, just scoring thirty a week. So to get that for fifty nine hundred is is an absolute bargain. Wide receiver one. Uh, yep, lay it on me. Well, let's uh, let's get the stack going. Disrespecting price right now. Stack is coming out fifty four hundred. Jarvis Landry. Mm. Last time these teams played, uh, week twelve, Jarvis put up seventeen points. Sean, yeah, this is a this is a, a game for dogs. This is a game for grown men. Dog, and I think this is a Jar- Jarvis Landry game. Finds the end zone twice. It's gonna pay off my stack. He's only fifty four. My stack was extremely cheap. Ah, uh, yeah. You're gonna be that. like, wow, you got you got. I have I have multiple players that cost sixty nine hundred. Sean, just wait, wait. <laughs> All right, Jarvis Landry, fifty four hundred. Okay, I'm going uh, first of uh, two players here in a mini game stack. Give me Elijah Moore. Uh, oh, gee. I think you you threw the stat out, but I had already put him in my lineup. He had a gr- you know pretty solid game against the Eagles. Uh, Twelve targets, only six catches, seventy-seven yards, and a touchdown. So not even the most efficient day for Elijah Moore, but he's really come alive. Tons and tons of targets and. You know, I, I think the Saints defense, there are some opportunities uh to throw against them. Maybe they put Lattimore on him. I don't know. Uh either way, Elijah Moore at home, fifty nine hundred. Love the spot. And I just love his target volume. Zach Wilson seems to be dialed into him and uh yeah, fifty nine hundred feels like a good price. Uh yeah, I mean he I think I think I, I wanna say it's uh, he's he's receiving somewhere in the thirty five percent of the target share. Uh yeah, it's crazy. As you were uh, I think alluding to, only Justin Jefferson has more fantasy points since since, since week, week nine. nine. Yep. Uh I love that too. I mean, again, if if you're playing the Taysom Hill stack, like I oh. might be in a different lineup, you're absolutely bringing it back with Elijah Moore. But I also like uh, a Kamara Elijah Moore uh, game stack. So uh, if Kamara plays, obviously, but more, he just seems, he seems like a guy that Zach Wilson's locked into. And uh, now it, it's down to Elijah Moore and Crowder. And so like uh, they, they have, they're two obviously yeah, and it's, it's different late in receivers. The season, jets aren't, are clearly out of it. Why not? Hey, we have a young rookie quarterback, young uh, receiver here. Let's get him some shine. Right. Let's see what we got here. Our, so our dynasty team is, is really on the rise here with our Zach Wilson, Elijah oh, yeah, Moore look pairing. Out. All right, uh, second. Let me just double stack right off the bat. You know where I'm going, Sean. Donovan Peoples Jones, back to back five target games. He was 4,800, then he was 4,500. Now he's only 3,900. Again, uh, how many defensive backs do the the Ravens have? None. They're out of them. They don't have any. They're going to get shredded yeah, here. Yeah, no, that I, I I hear that angle. Could so I? A little I'm calling for Baker. Baker. Four touchdowns, two to Landry, two to Donovan Peoples Jones. He does randomly Baker have massive ga- needs, one massive game. Needs a season. get right game. Something's wrong with the Ravens right now. Uh, so yeah, double stack, thirty nine hundred with Donovan Peoples Jones. And hey, Michigan man, Michigan's in the college football playoff. Let's go. We're gonna continue with our lineups. Before we do that, want to shout out Better Fantasy. Better Fantasy, the better way to play fantasy because they give you betting spreads, prop bets, uh, point totals, all sorts of uh, fun little extra action on your fantasy football league. Very easy to sync your league. Two clicks and you're done. You're ready to go. 
All you got to do is go to betterfantasy.com slash SGPN, B E T T O R fantasy.com slash SGPN. And if you get your entire league to sync up, you will get a $150 trophy smack gift card. So perfect. Uh, instead of collecting money for your fantasy football trophy, just get all your buddies, sync up the league, bing, bang, boom, and a bunch of other free to play prop games. You win credits, you can cash them out for gift cards. Hey, Give uh, maybe you got a cousin, you got to give him a gift card. Just you know, you cash out some better fantasy credits. Get him a gift card, and uh, all of a sudden you got your holiday shopping done. Betterfantasy.com/sgpn. We're also brought to you by So Bet. So Bet harkens back to a simpler day where two men would do battle, aka mano e mano. My team's gonna beat your team. Lay down a little So Bet action, Ryan, in the Monday night game. Nice little uh, win for the old greenster here. Uh, so bet very easy to tie third party payment applications to as well. All you got to do is go to so bet.io slash SGPN. So bet.io slash SGPN and uh, real betting lines, spreads, everything. Challenge your friends and uh, join the social betting revolution. So bet.io slash SGPN. Kramer, this receiver only thirty two hundred dollars, but I think he's going to be a bit of a steal. I had him in the DGens only uh, prop bet uh, for the Thursday night games. Oh yeah, little Jordan Humphrey, De- uh, Deontay Harris is out for the Saints, and you know, little Jordan Humphrey's two catches for forty nine yards, including a twenty five yard touchdown. Uh, give me some of that against this Jets secondary, and again, maybe this is just a little bit of eye test, but watching the kind of routes that Jordan Humphrey ran. Uh, you know, or has run and then seeing what worked against the jets. Uh, I think he could have a massive day. He's only $3,200. This feels like a steal. Highly recommend a little Jordan Humphrey play. If it makes sense in your lineup, but $3,200, uh, I guess the reli- spot. reliance on Taysom Hill's arm would be the concern there, but yeah, I true. Mean, but I, I think he seems to be someone they deploy around the red zone too. Yeah. So you have, you have that going for you. Yep. What's right. your second receiver? Third receiver. Oh, I've, ar- sorry. I've already double stacked. Uh, we're gonna go to my game stack here. Bengals. I'm going back to the Jamar Chase. Well, Sean, the last time Jamar Chase was under seven thousand, uh, he had a game, eight catches, two hundred and one yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Again, low, low, low. Eight targets last week. Didn't have a productive day. Uh, kind of ga- gifted an interception to the Chargers. Meanwhile, Higgins, fourteen targets. I love this to swing back uh, again. The Nor- Niners. They, I, I don't think. I think they have Niners, defensive backs. Dude. You can definitely take advantage of. And it sounds like uh, Burrow's fingers fine, and and they they seem like they're fucking pissed. They do and have a chip on their shoulder, and then yet you're facing this 49ers team, non-conference road spot, Bengals at home. Bengals must win. I mean, I, arguably similar spot there for the 49ers, but I agree. No. I think they have some cornerbacks that you can take advantage of. And Jamar just hasn't had that big game in a while, so yeah. again, I'm going two well, touchdowns I mean, super, for all my guys. Super unlucky where he had that basically oh, that touchdown, then and then it bounced right. Uh, it was right in the, the receiver's charge, hands. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. All right, so uh, what do I got? Third receiver. This is a. I, I have another mini game stack. He is the first leg of it. Now I know he did mm. wonders for us on Thanksgiving. Aww. Kind of quiet uh, <laughs> last week. Yeah, against the loss to the Redskins. <laughs> not the not the revenge game spot. But hear me out. Uh, let's hear. Deshaun it. Jackson could be super motivated to do something against the Kansas City Chiefs. And historically, Kansas City Chiefs has led up a couple deep bombs to the Raiders over the years. Deshaun Jackson sticking it to his former coach, Andy Reid. I'm sure when he was looking to be a free agent, he wanted to be signed by the Kansas City Chiefs. Ooh, got denied. Wants to show out. Build for a Andy. little bit of a backstory here, but I I still think Kansas City's defense has looked a lot better. But a guy like Daniel Sorensen cannot guard Deshaun no. Jackson. There will be some opportunities. A deep across the uh, sidelines there. Give me Deshaun uh, Jackson, thirty nine hundred dollars. You know, I, as I, I at one point I was looking to uh, to do a little Kansas City stack, and I I thought about Deshaun. He's it does he's a, he's a fun guy. To feel, feels like the kind of game he could get involved in. Oh yeah. All right, tight end. Also uh, bringing it back, 
This is where I started my lineup. Mark Andrews. Mm. Uh, just if you look at the targets, Sean, 5,900, it's so consistent. Uh, 10, 8, 10, 10, 9. It really just comes down to does he find the end zone or does he not find the end zone? You watch the, the last Ravens game, like those, like that's that's Lamar's dude. Like you see the way that they 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 talk to one another during the play. So a uh, pretty decent matchup here against the Cleveland team that if Baker is slinging le- the rock, like I think he might be Sean uh, Mark Andrews is going to have to be involved. And I think Mark Andrews is a guy that can take advantage of those linebackers there uh, in Cleveland. So 5,900 Mark Andrews, bringing it back. Oh, nice. I'm also, uh, this is the only guy I'm stacking with Josh Allen again, kind of going contrarian here. I am taking the quarterback and just the tight end, yeah. a single QB tight end stack. Dawson Knox. What better, what better redemption angle than Dawson Knox caught a ton of shit uh, for, I mean, one, uh, could you call him drops super windy? Uh, the defender actually played him really well, but six targets, only two catches for 14 yards to show for it. I think they're going to, you know, shift coverage to uh, Stefan Diggs. do anything they can to shut him down. And, and Tampa Bay has had some issues with linebackers and coverage and the tight ends. Dawson Knox, five thousand uh, dollars. No one's going to be playing Dawson Knox, I think, after that game. So yep. this is where I'm getting contrarian. This is where I'm getting low ownership. So Dawson Knox, five thousand dollars at the Bucks. All right, Sean. So, uh, so I like that play, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I still would have double stacked your, but I like I like doing the yeah, keeping going, it the tight I'm end going correlation. All right, so I went Jamar Chase first leg of the game stack. Second leg, Sean. Well, you might think Brandon Ayuk. Nope, double tight end. Give me George Kittle. Wow, sixty nine hundred. Oh I'm doing a game stack, Sean. Both guys sixty nine hundred in the game stack. Uh, th- there's only so many places the targets can go. The Bengals are going to push this one and call and score points. The Niners are going to have to pass. Uh, George Kittle is a good matchup in this game. He's also one of the two guys that's going to see those targets, 12 targets, nine receptions coming off a huge game. No reason he can't repeat a 42 point performance Uh, price is way up this week. So he probably won't be heavily owned. Uh, I'm hoping that the chase and Kittle angle isn't uh, super owned, but uh, double tight end, Sean, love it. George Kittle. 6,900. My flex spot. Now, this is uh, one of my other mini game stacks here. So many games to stacks. pair with Deshaun Jackson. I am going with for $8,500. What? Ty in the flex? Hill. What? That's right. Tyreek Hill, the uh, in. Chiefs receiver, kind of coming off a quiet two mm. for 22. Maybe not on anyone's radar. Last time they played the Raiders in Las Vegas, lit them up seven for 83 and two touchdowns. Chiefs offense has kind of been quiet. It's a lot. I mean, with the exception of the Raiders game, you know, they won't beat Dallas 19 9, beat Denver 22 to 9, beat Green Bay 13 7, 20 to 17 against the Giants. Like they, with the exception of that Raiders game, they haven't had a massive game. I think this is a, a great spot. Uh, for them to really crush the Raiders offensively, they're at home. Uh, Tyreek Hill again, very tough guard. So yeah, give me Tyreek Hill, eighty five hundred. I really got to figure out a Mahomes Hill Kelsey stack because it just it feels like they that whatever happened last year in the games, it just seemed like they wanted to absolutely destroy the Raiders defense. Stacked with Javante Williams. Give me the Denver Broncos Ooh, defense. Okay. 30, you know, paying up for defense, generally a good way to be contrarian. 3,800. That's that's one way to do it. But this Broncos defense is, is coming together. Seems like Von Miller was not needed. Yeah. Uh, they, they're playing with some swagger. Vic Fangio, uh, with Dan Campbell coming to town, is going to be like, this guy's a football guy. This guy's a dummy. <laughs> He's not a football guy. I'm going. I'm killing Jared Goff this week. I, Jared Goff's been partying with that hot ass girlfriend of his. Very attractive. Uh, come on, Vic Fan. Vic Fangio saw the the video of Jared Goff's girlfriend, and he's been watching film ever since. This is going to be a bloodbath. Jared Goff sucks. Island is going to be packed next weekend because the Broncos are going to s- just 
roll. Thirty eight hundred. Ryan, I mean, I, I like I certainly like Denver's defense here, mm. but <laughs> what about saving nine hundred dollars okay. and taking the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> against this Panthers team? I mean, is it Cam? Cam who else would it be? PJ Walker. They both look horrible. They fired Joe Brady. This offense is completely out of sync. Christian McCaffrey's done for the year, and, and Atlanta. I, I think Atlanta's still in the playoff mix somehow. They have like a horrible point differential. They're hanging on. They're still kind of in the what, mix. What if they just go? Uh, what if they just simplify the playbook to what they ran at Baylor slash Temple? And PJ Walker just runs it. Yeah, but again, we've seen teams coming off the bye. They look kind of rusty because they don't have a lot of practice time. You throw that in with canning your offensive coordinator. Can you really install a new offense? In I, I just don't see it. No, I, I like it. I like. I certainly. I mean, if it's Cam Newton, yes, please. Yeah, but even PJ Walker, he's turned the ball over a ton. Yeah, he's not that good. As much as we love the XFL. No, I love. I love. He looked great in the XFL. Turns out the NFL is better, Ryan. Yeah, it, uh, it turns out it's better. <laughs> Breaking news. All right, so if you're listening uh, in the car, Josh Allen, Cordero Patterson, Javante Williams, Elijah Moore, Little Jordan Humphrey, Deshaun Jackson, Dawson Knox, Tyree Kale, and the Atlanta Falcons gonna cash me big this week. Oh, that was an awesome camera point. Baker Thank Mayfield, uh, Antonio Gibson, Javante Williams, Jamar Chase. Jarvis Landry, Donovan Peoples Jones, Mark Andrews, George Kittle, and the Broncos defense. Easy, easy money. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in the podcast. As always, make sure you drop a nice rating and review on Apple Podcasts. Help us climb the charts and destroy our competition. Yep. And uh, every review you leave is a chance to win free gear on Monday, Merch Monday. You leave a review. Uh, tune in to our Twitter at Gambling Podcast every Monday. I will be tweeting out a winner. If that's you, contact us. Claim your free gear. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. A uh, shout out to the guy who uh, uh, let me know that I put my phone number on the podcast. Kramer, let it ride.